around. Let's go to our quests. And let's just knock out the easiest thing first. Let's go to Herbology class. That would be the first easiest thing. Well, the easiest thing. <clears throat> so we shall do just that. Um, broadens the mind. Let's make this a little bit easier on ourselves. Let's get a little bit closer. Fast travel. We can probably come across a lot, but that's all right. Revelio. All right. We can come up here. There's something in there. I just know it. I'm not doing anything about them locks yet, man. Them locks are tripping me out. And what is Rebellion. with that? Okay. I'd love to have a house in one of the nearby houses. Right now it's free. Look at this. There we go. Greenhouse is. There's gotta be something else over here that we can just kind of look at. Oh, what's that? Not get in and out of Damn. All right, let's start the mission. Wait. Yep. No. No. Let's start the mission. Revelio. All right. Let's get it. Let's get some herbs. I mean, herbology class. <laughs> Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these. For Professor Garlic. Uh, um, a, a little treat for your auntie. <sighs> oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <sighs> we do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Jesus. Oh. oh, I forgot about that. God damn. The soil 
should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. <laughs> Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. All right. Now for our next task, we'll be planting different on our cotton tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Action. Revelio. Levioso. Lumos. Revelio. I wonder if it looks like not grass. Yes, sure. Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own yeah, table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. I probably explain what that pot was. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you should know from Professor Sharp's class. Empty pot. Well done! Uh -huh. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. <clears throat> I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch <coughs> out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. Revelio. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. If he Here we are. Home of the Revelio. Chomping, chomping Cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Uh... Oh. Well, shit, that makes sense. Look at that. Fuck. Oh, gentlemen, and they can get their mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. 
Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Hmm. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones mm. your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Very nice. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Very cool. Rebellion. What are you up to now? The edge of my and with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Revelio. Sounds lit. Level 10. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. All right, so next on the list here, what we got? Quests. Potions class. All right, so now let's do... It's ten potions class, yeah. Rebellion. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Revelio. All right, let's get it. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. <clears throat> As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. 
It can heal some mm. injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Huh. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. Hmm. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Ain't that some shit. All right, collect Ashlander eggs, collect dark mongrel fur. My parents can tell you. Will you be home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion? Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say mm. that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single foop of feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the foop of feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Foop of feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion Revelio. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. All right. One potion. And now we have the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Oh, that dude. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. 
Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Your mom. <laughs> I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, put it that. So we got one of these Adura's potions. Potion that enhances the drinker's defense. Oh, that's really good. Very good. All right, sweet. Right, so now we are going to do, let's do Professor Hakat's assignment number two. Revelio. Oh, my robes are going to reach the Garrus inspiration. Rebellion. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Nice. 
Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. I almost screwed that up. This is very nice. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expel it on us. Dope. Very cool, very cool. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Scott, what the hell is this treasure chest though? No idea where that is. You can't imagine how inconvenient the lava was before I did. I wonder why Madame Kagawa didn't become a Quidditch player. Wonder if she's not actually that good. Revelio. Uh, I think we can bust out this last one real quick too. Seems to be the next thing on the list, or the old list. Um, meet Natty, Anai, and Lower Hogsfield. Okay. We bust open our map here. Holy shit, she's always away. Uh, she's on the world map then, it looks like. And... Can we head that way? Let's see. Yeah, should be good to go. Head that way. Have a little bit of a journey. We got a couple side missions too we can explore. We'll get there. It's about time. <laughs> Rebellion. This one. Try to repair that. I find the moving staircase is unnerving when no one's around. It's got to be a repair. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Repair. Revelio. Hmm. Repair. Maybe not. Incendium. Oh, that's what it is. Revelio. Let's 
good. Have a look at that flu flame. Get fucking jumped out here. Rebellion. Can't collect none of that? Oh, I gotta build a mine, maybe. I don't know. Oh, no, I don't. Revelio. Revelio. Tower up there. Some could be stuff up there. What are you up to now? Revelio. I get that plan. They gotta be invisible, maybe. What if I gotta be invisible? Shit don't make sense. Lumos. Yeah. How that nice don't work. to see you, my young friend. I don't know if that works. Rebellion. It's okay though. Maybe I dig it. I don't know. It's getting dark. Nice. Switch our um, outfit real quick. Might be pretty beneficial. Level oh, five. I don't want to kill the kilt. Is kind of trash. Ah, there we go. I can live with that. Indeed, and it, get, and it boosts us up. It boosts our skills up a little bit. Defense. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I'm okay with that. And we match a little more. Okay, boy. Got a little bit of style. Hmm. 
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. You're fucking lugged out here. I don't know who's that over there. Keep it pretty simple out here with this. It is good to see you, my friend. Revelio. Oh, we got. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. <coughs> I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? <clears throat> I've never met Rookwood or Marlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but... Perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be All right. Revelio. Fair Can enough. You What's going on here? Oh, we got help the stranger. But mummy, Archie, I don't have time to argue. I told you repeatedly not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. How beautiful. These horses with wings. Rebellion. That's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh shit. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer yes. any questions you have about the town. I see your wares. What do you have for sale? <laughs> I'm gonna say what can I help shit. you with today? Alright, so. trouble selling this. Thank you.
Potion, Leech Juice, Thunder Brew can be found near waterfronts, can be purchased. Wiganfield Potions. Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Let's purchase another one of what these. Can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. The time amount. Look at the fence. I hope to see you again sometime. I never thought the Ottomans would go this far. Help that man out there. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Off on another adventure, are we? Gotta help that stranger real quick. Oh, what we got over here, though? Revelio. Got somebody over here. This way, think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Whoa, leave her alone. Stupid. Let's fuck shit up, bro. It's your boy. Watch it out, bro. Pretty straightforward. Nice. First bandit fight. Oh, wait. Is there more? I'll watch the light go out of your what eyes. What the hell? Oh, man. Fucking fantastic. The collection section of your field. The guys up there, you with a new enemy type. I mean, what's up, bro? Oh, fuck me. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. <laughs> so I can repair that. Repair. Revelio. Maybe. Repair. I don't even know. Incendio. Revelio. Oh, that's not it. Maybe not. Lumos.
I probably don't have the spell for it. Nine times out of ten. You're right. I am, thanks in no small part to your Nora excellent well. defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of marriage. Rebellion. It's just over there by my tent. Get the mallow sweet from the trunk. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Revelio. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! The flames make the pyre sink. Revelio! Rebellion. Incendio. Nice. Got them all at once. And then that happens. Merlin Trials. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does <sighs> it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? 
Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. Mm, I really okay. must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Well, Osmeade took up some shit. For sure. Now, I've got Rebellion. what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Trials of Merlin. Gotta find those out and about somewhere. And that bitch just disappeared real quick. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't Rebellion. interrupt. Especially Professor Black. Our eyes dark out and shit. It's fantastic. So, if I were to pull this map up, Central Hogwarts Valley, and Merlin Trials. Is there another trial? Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah. So, we've unlocked this part of the map. God damn it. If you can see the. Location, hover over it through any hidden icons. Maybe it's the same location. Sweet, fantastic. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's Hogsmeade. Okay, yep, yep, yep. That is Hogsmeade indeed. <clears throat> Whoa, is that a fucking dragon? Oh my goodness. Yes it is, wherever the hell that thing goes. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, okay, so we're looking at a Merlin trial over there, treasure vault, that's cool.
Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Incendio. Hmm. That's pretty crazy. This looks intriguing. Nice. That's some gear. Rebellion. That works pretty good. So I got the treasure in that treasure vault. That was nice. All right, well, with that being said, think go back to the Hogwarts map I have to go inside Hogwarts here south wing so Hogwarts south exit we'll go in front of there then we'll call this for part number six thank you guys for tuning in it means a lot we have made our way back Revelio. into this section. What the fuck does this do? No idea. Revelio. Can I move that somewhere? Levioso. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. I really don't know why. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I don't know what the point of these things are. Just get another one. Whatever those boxes are. Rebellion. I don't even know. Hmm. Well, that's definitely a use for him. Anyways, thank you guys. Part number six. This has been a great one. And uh, we will return. Rebellion. We will find Scrope. But she seems to be right here. So that's good. We'll make it happen. I'll catch you guys on part number seven when we return. Enjoying and killing it through Hogwarts Legacy. Till then.